Quartzsite, Arizona. And if you've never heard of Quartzsite, it's a tiny town in the middle of the desert in Arizona. And I believe the population year round is less than 4,000 people. But it is a huge RV destination in January and February. Why? Because you can stay here basically for free or at least as close to free as you can get because there are a lot of BLM or Bureau of Land Management lands around here and of course in the winter the climate is quite mild so a lot of snowbirds come here in January and February and to state the obvious this is purely boondocking it's dry camping no hookups no water no electric no sewer so a lot of people have generators a lot of people use solar I believe there are services around here where um, if you really want you can pay somebody to pump out your water tanks and uh, get stuff like that done to your RV without having to move your rig otherwise you're gonna have to go into town and take care of business when you need more fresh water you can purchase it in town there are a lot of places that sell it for around 25 cents a gallon or five gallons for a buck we have a jerry can to bring more water to uh, our airstream when we need it. And there are also dump stations, of course. We did pick up some propane in town. Right now, uh, we've chosen a site here in Quartzsite we have a view of what we believe is Dome Rock, Dome Mountain, whatever it's called. Apparently you can stay here for up to 14 days in one spot. Then I think you have to, to move on or move somewhere else. If you know you want to stay in Quartzsite for longer than 14 days, you can pay a fee and receive basically a long-term visitor pass that will allow you to stay here for several months and that fee will include access to a dump station with water and i believe the fee is around 180 bucks now if you really want hookups there are a number of private rv campgrounds in town that offer quite reasonable rates you know the benefits of boondocking you're not stacked right up next to your neighbor you got a little bit more elbow room a little bit more freedom I love that feeling of being kind of off the grid, independent. We have a generator for electricity when we really need it, or if we need that to reduce our batteries. No check-in time. There's no check-out time. You can sleep in late if you want. There'll be no guy in a golf cart riding around, rapping on your door at 10.30 in the morning to run you off the property. You can relax and just enjoy your stay. So what do you do at Quartzsite? Uh, obviously you can pull off along the side of the highway here and camp just about anywhere you want. Uh, a lot of people seem to gather with friends and form like little circles, camping circles. Interstate 10 runs right through the center of town basically and I guess you're around four hours or so from Los Angeles, two, two and a half hours from Phoenix and there's not much else around here. You are in the desert if you're staying in Quartzsite, but if you're here in January and February, you're certainly not alone. There's a major gathering here, one of the largest RV shows in the world. huge tent in Quartzsite. I mean a big 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 monster tent and under that tent are vendors of every stripe. Pretty much every aspect of the RV lifestyle is represented at this show. And I mean everything from cooking. Yeah, the pizza chicken. Who wanted it? Okay. 
I'll try one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Tastes like chicken. Okay. That's good. Good. Is it here you go, guys. You can to hitching, to towing, to purses, <laughs> clothing. House shoes. House shoes. Leather shoes. Uh, Muppets. Puppets. Gadgets. RV touring companies, different states, Alaska, the Yukon Territory, pretty much everything you can think of is covered there. And yes, there are RVs that you can tour outside the tent in uh, the sort of parking area. You can have a party in here. It's big. Yeah, you could. It's like a residential fridge. Think of all the leftovers we could put in there. Now parking around uh, quartzite can be kind of tricky because uh, you know a, a lot of these roads and these areas are unpaved so we did see a couple people get their trucks stuck in the soft earth so be careful of that when you're coming in to quartzite. Overall I found the, the RV show really interesting. I like the price. It's free for consumers and you can stroll in and you can talk to all of these different vendors and you're going to find something of interest in there. You know, the town of Quartzite, it's a tiny little town. Uh, it's, you know, I think the population here is between three and 4,000. So there are a couple of grocery stores. Prices in the grocery stores are pretty reasonable. There's no shortage of liquor available. So uh, you can probably guess what a favorite local pastime might be. This is an area that is dominated by desert landscape. I mean, it is totally landlocked. And if you're going to pursue recreational activities around here, it's probably going to be some sort of off-roading, I would think. I mean, there may be some hiking if you enjoy hiking in the desert. We've had the pleasure of meeting several Long Long Honeymoon YouTube subscribers here in Quartzsite. Ran into a Long Long Honeymoon YouTube subscriber, and we're talking about Quartzsite. And this gentleman is well equipped to enjoy the area. That's what I'm talking about. Been doing some off-roading today? Yeah, and there's so much to see and do around here. You could ride, you could ride for weeks and not cover it all. Yeah. All the way from old cabins, old mines, old Indian riding, just there's so much stuff around here off-roading. And the sunsets are just amazing out here. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of beauty in the desert. I yeah, think, you know. And so. then we come down here for four to six weeks every January, and uh, we just love it. I mean, as far as what there is to do here, I think it's really all about the social scene. The RV show itself lasts for about a week, and once the RV show rolls out of town, I imagine you're just kind of hanging out with your friends and fellow RV campers and enjoying a little sunshine in the middle of winter. You know, camels are a symbol of quartzite and there's an interesting story behind that. There's a monument in town to a guy called High Jolly. Now his original name was Arabic and he came over here from Syria about 150 years ago to help the US government use camels in the American Southwest to transport cargo and so forth. So apparently they had several dozen camels here. For whatever reason, the camels didn't really work out. They decided they didn't want to pursue this as a major means of transporting cargo. So they let the camels loose in the desert. And they said the camels actually did pretty well here in the desert and lived quite a long time freely roaming around the desert around Quartzsite. So uh, High Jolly and supposedly the ashes of one of his favorite camels uh, is buried here in Quartzsite. They call it the last camp of High Jolly. So that's the Quartzsite RV show and Quartzsite, Arizona. You know, a lot of people ask us, where can we park our RV for free? And the answer unfortunately is there aren't as many places as you might think you know campgrounds typically there's some sort of cost attached so if you really want to park your rig for free you're going to end up in national forest and places like this blm or bureau of land management 
areas and a lot of snowbirds come down here for that very reason. If you're new here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You guys keep on subscribing and we'll keep on making videos just like this one. Until next time, Lolo Ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.